What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to the Powerpuff Girls in Multiverses. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play them, some secrets about their moves you might not have known about, how to play neutral, best kill options, fun starting combos, best perks, and more. So as we get on in there, subscribe here for more content, turn that bell on so you know when we upload and we go live, and let's get right into it. The Powerpuff Girls, though they look cute on the outside, man, they have a lot going for them. The Powerpuff Girls are probably one of the most unique fighters I've seen in a long time, especially in a platform fighter. Because though you play as one, like you are are playing just one character technically all at one time you're playing all three it's kind of weird you're playing one but you can swap between the three so right now our leader is blossom she is in the front she's gonna be your main character and the reason why i said that is because for an example your side special will throw out another powerpuff girl but that does not mean out of nowhere you're buttercups so we throw out buttercup we are still blossom we're not playing buttercup in that moment in that aspect think about buttercup being a projectile of sorts now you might think oh that's cool but can i play the other power buff girls yes you can you gotta press down special and that switches who the leader of the group is so now we're playing bubbles and i know what you're thinking that's cool but does that even matter that's because every single leader of the power buff girls affects the way your special moves work in their properties so just for a quick and easy example our neutral special when we're playing blossom is an ice breath as you see that carries our opponent upwards it's actually a pretty good kill move too and if you use the perk of an extra ingredient it gives an additional effect to each power puff girl's neutral special move like that so for an example blossoms will now actually apply stacks of freeze on them now so our opponent now has freeze now if we switch leaders go to bubbles here we do our neutral special she's just going to scream and that will stun your opponent with the extra ingredient perk buttercup actually gets an armor breaking move for her neutral special so if you want to break armor you're going to want to play buttercup you can cycle between the power puff girls and your leader you can press down special or you can just hold it so as i go over their special moves i'll let you know what is changing depending on your leader we just went over your neutral specials like this and those are all the same in the air and on the ground as you saw earlier our side special will throw out another powerpuff girl and do uh kind of a grab of sorts buttercup as you see there throws our opponent down if we're bubbles we're gonna throw out blossom and she will throw the opponent towards our leader, allowing for some fun combos. And if we're Buttercup, we're going to throw out Bubbles, and she will throw the opponent upwards. Again, making for some fun combos. So do you want to throw them down, up, or towards yourself? You got to decide, or you got to react, depending on who your leader in the moment actually is. If you're in the air, side special will just kind of uh, go towards your opponent and hit them, like this. That'll happen no matter who your leader is. The effect changes only for the ground. Now, up special, uh, a simple trio uppercut of sorts. And what changes there is uh, Bubbles will go higher. She will, she'll go the highest out of the three, whereas Buttercup will go like the, the least high, but she has the most knockback because Bubbles goes the highest, but has the least knockback. And Blossom is kind of a uh, standard. She's kind of a balance between both, you know, high and knockback. Now, that is actually the same for all the Powerpuff Girls, and that's the biggest thing about these characters, or this character, I guess. It's not only does your leader dictate what your properties are for your special move, but they also play differently. Blossom, like I said, is more standard. She's more balanced for everything, you know, speed and knockback, sure. Bubbles is going to be the fastest, but have the least amount of knockback. So she's good, you know, early game, get in there, get some damage in, have fun with it, be fast. But when your opponent starts to get higher, you might want to switch to buttercup because she's got the most knockback even though she's the slowest in this aspect she has the highest kill potential because she does have the most knockback i like to either play blossom or, or bubbles for the most part of the match and then when i really need that good knockback i'll switch over to buttercup and have just some really good powerful moves buttercup has the most knockback but again she is the slowest and you can really feel that speed difference playing them. you're gonna go from bubbles to buttercup and go whoa i just feel heavier now and that is the way it's supposed to be something you got to get used to playing uh, all three at one time Time. So they affect the gameplay themselves with speed and knockback. They change the properties of your special moves. That's the biggest thing with playing the Powerpuff Girls. Their attacks otherwise uh, are pretty much the same no matter who you're playing as leader. Like we have our side attack combo one, two, three. And then down attack is just really good because it actually sends out two of the Powerpuff Girls, you know, back and forth between us, the leader. And that's really good for edge guarding. So if we get our opponent on the edge here, we can just uh, edge guard that way if they're trying to come back up. And it's good because you, the leader, are kind of, you know, not on the ledge, but you send out your Powerpuff Girls to the side and they are it is pretty good edge guarding up attack is great because it's multiple hits and it has awesome kill potential especially when you're buttercup like that it can go for side jab twice and then up attack and you can charge it as well the same thing goes for your neutral attack and it's a pretty good slide that has really good reach on it and as you saw there we can charge it as well more damage more knockback and of course further range really good move 
Now, what about our aerials here? What do you want to do in the air? Well, first of all, their neutral air attack is great because it's a spinning move. They all hold hands and spin. That covers all your bases, literally. Ah! Side air, you just like hold hands and swing each other. Pretty decent reach too. Up attack in the air is a simple uh, aerial uppercut. And then down attack in the air is just a really good solid spike. Your specials, we kind of already went over. You know, your side special is the same no matter what. Your aerial up special is the same as a ground up special. And you can change characters in the air and it's actually a hit. But right now we're bubbles. I know we're going to switch to buttercup. It's actually a hit. And she comes out hitting with that further knockback and vice versa when we switch to blossom. I mean, to be fair, when you switch on the ground, that's still a hit. It's not a great hit, but it is a hit. But it's a better hit in the air. I've actually gotten KOs by switching characters. So it has pretty good potential as a hit itself. Now, when you're a neutral like this, what do you want to do as the Powerpuff Girls? Where do you, you know, kind of shine the most? I'll tell you right now, they are an assassin class. And as you see, playing Bubbles especially, we are fast, but don't have a ton of kill potential. But playing Buttercup are a bit slower and have awesome knockback and stuff like that. So they do play pretty much like the assassin class you might expect, but they have have a really good neutral because we have a really good dash attack first of all we have really good reach with our side special so in neutral like this if my opponent is trying to stay away from me like this i will do side special and start a combo but they are an assassin they, they, they really want to be in the opponent's face a lot of the time they don't really have any projectiles or anything like that so you're gonna rely on the attributes that each powerpuff girl's leader brings so if i'm playing blossom i know i have the ice breath i might use that not only that but even though buttercup might be a bit heavier than the others yes they're still really mobile so what you're trying to do here is you're trying to uh, fake out your opponent a lot of time meaning you are just running circles around them literally they're a very light character a lot of other characters are, are way heavier than them you have the advantage of moving around the map a lot faster than they do which your leader up depending on how far in the match you are and again if we're further in the match like this i might want to switch to buttercup here uh just for that further knockback i mean that right there killed at 80 percent that's pretty good when you get a ko or when you are in a further space neutral like this this is a good time those are good times to kind of decide what uh, leader do you want to be in right now so a lot of times if i knock my opponent out they're coming back i will decide probably to switch to either uh blossom or bubbles just to have that uh balance knockback in speed or if i want to be faster in the moment like if i'm fighting a fast opponent i can still decide to play a bubble and be as fast as they are but if i don't need the speed i can play buttercup no problem or simply they're just using a lot of armored moves like superman or wonder woman buttercup's your best option for the armor breaking move now best killing move options you might have uh, up attack first of all is great that one i find getting ko's a lot same with neutral attack charged aerial side attack is usually my best option for ko's because aerial up attack's not bad Spike is probably decent off the ledge, but neither one of them feel like uh, really heavy moves to me. Again, unless you're playing Buttercup, then they're better, of course. But I'm talking about like in general. Your side special is a really good move for that. And your up special in the air and on the ground has more of a, a horizontal knockback, not not really vertical. But like, even if we put our opponent in the air, then we do up special in the air. We're not going to really knock him up. We're going to knock him sideways, as you see right there. So get used to that part as well. If you're trying to go more vertical for the vertical kill, you just might want to do up attack compared to up special. Although some of their neutral specials like blossom have a really good vertical kill now what about their best perks or perks you might want to consider when playing the powerpuff girls our first unique perk is rainbow dash where you can actually instant air dash can be used while in the air so this allows you to double tap forward uh, attack in the air and do that rolling dash move in the air it's quite nasty but you gotta be really good at dashing in the air very unique perk because not a lot of characters have perks that allow you to dash attack in the air like the powerpuff girls here it's really cool and does make for some fun combos but their other signature perk and extra ingredient is the one i was talking about earlier where this will change the leader's neutral special ability or add an effect to it so again blossoms frost breath will apply ice stack bubble scream will stun your opponent for a very brief moment and then buttercup's eye laser will burn your opponent some really cool effects there so if you don't want to worry about crazy dashing in the air and crazy dash combos and whatever this is a just a, a, a passive perk that you don't have to really worry about it just gives your moves extra abilities i like this one personally a bit more having that burn and or ice stacks on my opponent from neutral specials is always great and i love stunning my opponent in a combo using bubble stun here rainbow dash is so much fun to use it just takes some getting used to. Something I consider this the better perk and I can see why. Kind of just depends on how you want to play. I kind of want to argue this one's better, but again, they're both great. As you're playing an assassin, I recommend the snowball effect. The more damage is always great. If I'm playing buttercup, more damage, more knockback. Here we go. And if I'm playing bubbles, who is quite light, having that extra damage boost is always great as well. As you're playing an assassin class, I just recommend speed force assist. It's just the best one. Playing bubbles, you feel fast. This makes you feel super fast. I personally don't really care for a lot of these other ones. Even the new one here, broken wing 
wings. You got really good recovery playing the Powerpuff Girls. I don't really feel like it's super needed. I just want more speed. Bubbles feels even faster, and then Buttercup feels just a bit more faster than she usually would be because she is pretty heavy, it feels like. And as you are an assassin, you're a melee character. You don't really have projectiles or anything crazy. So a Pugilist is just is just so good. You just get more damage. You get more damage snowball effect, you get more damage here. You're faster here. You're just really enhancing the Powerpuff Girls staple gameplay and then choosing do you want to dash attack in the air or apply extra abilities to your neutral special. Pretty straightforward, but they got some really fun perks to mess around with. Let me know down below in the comments what signature perks and other perks do you recommend using for the Powerpuff Girls or which ones do you use? Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget your side special can be used for recovery and so can your up special. You can change characters in the air if needed, and each Powerpuff Girl leader will change your gameplay. If you enjoyed this guide, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down below what do you think of the Powerpuff Girls in Multiverses, and who's your favorite leader to use, Buttercup, Blossom, Bubbles. Let me know down below. Subscribe here for more Multiverses content. Take it one step at a time, and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Multiverses news, guides, reactions, and more.